It's more than just, you know, hey, here we are in jeans and a t-shirt, you know, jamming out with concrete dust on our shoes after work. The bands that I grew up, like, listening to, like Alice Cooper and Kiss, you know, everyone thought they were freak shows and stuff like that, and uh, that always attracted me, like the ugliness in the world. I've seen so many bands that play great music, but the image is just like, uh, all right, that's all, huh? I was really sad to hear that uh, Stein's went out of business, so Stein's Clown White, they don't make it anymore, so. Ben I Clown White. I also love it when people are like, what the fuck are we looking at right now? Who are these guys? What the hell are they doing up there? You know, in those old shows, when you wear, uh, you know, leather jackets, skin tight jeans, and uh, just freeze t-shirt on stage, that was, that was hiding, you know, between, you know, give and heavy metal attributes. But if you go on, like this on stage, you can't really hide. When you see a show and somebody's dressed up and they're just look sick looking, you're just like, it really impacts you in a way. You go home and you think about that. As a black metal band, satanic metal band, the face, or the face paint um, is basically a concept that is about erasing the oneself completely. It represents uh, a darkness that we have inside that is surfaced through the paint. I'm typically a shy guy. It will be corpse copulation. Once I put the mask on, the garb, you know, I, I uh, transform myself into a whole new character. The meaning of why I do what I do is to, is to contain the impulsive urges to act inappropriate and be a terrible person to keep them all within the context of art and leaving them on the stage. I wear a lot of makeup anyway usually, but when I take the stage, like, it's to a different level. It's like I'm on level 10 and I'm a different person. A lot of our lyrics are post-apocalyptic, so we kind of have our look kind of bring out those lyrics. It's just cooler to look at. I like seeing shit on stage that's like just a little bit more creepy and spooky. Probably if you wanted to, you could call it like um, post-apocalyptic dark industrial steampunk. You can escape from who you are as like a normal person, like you go on stage with this on, it's just you can essentially do whatever the fuck you want. Whether you admit it or not, you end up becoming somebody else when you're on stage. I really have no idea. Maybe it's the real me. Or maybe it's me just like being the me I wish I was. Maybe it's some kind of Tyler Durden Fight Club shit. I put on my makeup and my outfits and everything like that and put on my show to show the world exactly who I am on my terms. We probably have scarier faces with the masks off and with on. Because they're on here, like you're getting into it, you're like, yeah, this is gonna be fucking awesome. This is wicked. But man, I, I find I get locked jaw and locked jaw and all this shit afterwards. The face paint for us isn't so much a difference of you know, becoming a different person, to me, it's, it's the idea of, you know, sort of being able to proverbially take a scalpel and just cut down the middle and open it up and show everybody what's actually inside. I always change it every time, every night. When I do my makeup, I start getting ideas and I start putting different things like grasses, or white, or all black with white, or no tears, or something crazy. I find that it, it's empowering. <laughs> 